Good day, YouTube. Today is Saturday. It's about the 28th of April, 2018. It's a little overcast here in Oregon today, but uh, the weather's supposed to improve next week. As I get closer and closer to uh, making the 1967 Boyertown Step Band a very usable uh, mobile studio, the more I start thinking about all the equipment that I've gathered over the years that is built in to the Scooby van. And what am I going to do with Scooby, first of all? Am I gonna strip the equipment out to put it into here? Nobody, and I mean nobody, wants to see the Scooby van go away. And including me. It would be a very sad day, I suppose, if I actually retired this vehicle. But I've done so many things, building in the wireless microphone system, built a custom wireless microphone antenna, put in an FM transmitter system with an FM transmitter antenna. Um, so all these things I've acquired over time. You know, the business is almost paid for this stuff. I don't really make any money doing this. I build stuff and acquire equipment with it. Um, so the easy and inexpensive thing to do would be to strip all of that equipment out of this truck to build it into this truck. But again, neither I or anybody else wants to see Scooby Van go away. And it's of no use if it doesn't have all its equipment in it. So I decided I will repurchase everything exactly that was in this as far as the FM transmitter system, the wireless microphone system, and some of the other components that I don't already have upgraded equipment for and build them into the step van. The interesting thing is so much of this equipment is so available online, whether it's on Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, that kind of thing. And you know, where I have been acquiring things for this vehicle for seven years, you know, and all kinds of different online auctions and things like that it just has become easier and easier to acquire this stuff so i sat down the other day and let my fingers do the walking through the internet and uh, ordered most of or if not all of what i need um, and a lot of it has showed up over the last week or two as i find things and get it ordered so let's go over and go through some of the stuff I've been buying. All right. Uh, one caveat. I know what this is. This. I actually ordered weeks ago, and it's been riding around in my van for a while. But I thought I'd show you anyway. I bought two. HD outdoor TV antennas and this has a hundred and fifty mile range. It's 1080p. It's got a motorized rotor in it and it's remote control. So um, basically put it on a pole and get your TV out of the air instead of out of the cable or a satellite. So I have a, a solar shed here on my property here where my shop is and the boat anyway there's a 20 inch tv in the boat but i have a little antenna in there and it didn't work too good well the boat's just going to sit there for a long time so i thought i would mount one of these on the boat um my dad was in town he bought one of these on amazon for his rv and he said they work exceptionally well so while he and i were sitting there talking i went on amazon and bought two so I haven't got a chance to play with it yet, but I have a couple. Buy it on Amazon in a day or two, it shows up at your house. Very convenient, very inexpensive. All right, let's see what's in all these other packages that have arrived this week. This is like Christmas time. Sometimes I don't remember everything that I bought. However, A lot of these were eBay purchases. Of course, it's really easy to go on eBay and see what you bought. And I'll 
show you guys. So these are the cables that are going to go between my wireless microphone and a bulkhead fitting, which hopefully is in here, and then the antenna screws off. Those are the antennas that I showed you on the outside of the Scooby van. And I bought these. Uh, these should be like 20 or 24 inches long so I can penetrate through the wall of the step van, get to the antennas, seal it all up when it's done. So good those have arrived. What else we got? And there are the antennas. They have a, a 90 degree breakaway. These will go into the bulkhead. They'll mount in this configuration once I get the mount built. So great the antennas have showed up. And I was able to go back on eBay to find my previous purchases so that I had an opportunity to buy the exact same thing as long as these were right. If I buy them again, they'll be right again. All right, what's in this box? Oh, yes. This is unrelated to the step van. More related to my uh, new motorcycle. I bought an ST1300 uh, retired police motorcycle, and here is a six-pack of oil filters for the motorcycle. You can't get them for less money anywhere else. And uh, now I've got a half a dozen of them on my shelf. I didn't have to leave the house, fiddle around, order them, and they show up. Might as well have this stuff when you need this stuff. Ooh, parts, cool. These are for the step van. They're not electronic by any means, but the brake and clutch pedal pad are completely wore out and I ordered a brand new replacement. I gotta show these to you. These are the same as the 40s and 50s Ford pickup. And uh, they are correct for the 67 Boyertown step van, which is riding on a Ford, uh, what do they call it? A P400 chassis. Cool, huh? So those came, these were only like $20 shipped. Can't get them locally. Get them on the internet. So what's this? Good question. Don't know. Oops. What I slice through? Nothing important. It's like Christmas. Didn't preview any of this. Oh, you know what this is? be a birthday present for me. <laughs> My birthday is in a couple of days. Uh, okay. It's actually microfiber towels. Isn't that awesome? I was just cleaning my seat. I uh, did a video cleaning the seat in here, which I use microfiber towels, and I was just at Harbor Freight this morning and bought... No, I didn't buy them. I bought something, and then I got free microfiber towels because I use them. Cool. Now I've got lots of them. I love it. I did a video last week, or two weeks ago maybe, where I cut the bumper off of my step van. And just as I was finishing, my torch made this hissing sound and something wasn't right. I didn't, I tried not to let it bother me during the video. What had happened was oxygen regulator died. It's a Victor. Um, and so I ordered on Amazon, uh, aftermarket whatever oxygen regulator to get me uh, working again and I see that I can get a rebuild kit for the Victor so I'm going to order up a rebuild kit and rebuild the original and then I guess I'll have this as a spare but this was like 20 bucks or 22 bucks or something so that gets me going until I get around to rebuild the other one should be good to go Okay, more toys. I mean, more parts. What's in here? Okay, these are, uh, there's two of them in here. These are what I call the bulkhead fittings for the antennas. 
So the first thing I opened was a short cable cell attached to one side of these. And then the antennas will attach to the other side and then there's a nut. So I'll drill a hole through a bracket and install these. One vertical and one horizontal so they'll kind of look like that. The antenna, the antenna, and then the cables will connect. So these are the bulkhead things. Unfortunately, you can't get it all from one place. So I had to shop around. But luckily I'd bought them before. I knew exactly what I had bought because you can look all that up on eBay and give some general. Funny, I feel these things like I don't even know what that is until I open it. And I don't even know what that is. Okay. This is the antenna for my FM broadcast transmitter for the step van. And uh, I want to uh, use this a week from today and see if they have an improved uh, antenna system from what I currently have on the Scooby van. If this works better, I'll order another one, change the antenna on the Scooby van. This one goes on the step van. So I hopefully it's not real tall, but this is appropriate for the FM transmitter and I'm afraid the one I put on the Scooby van is incorrect. So there it is. That's my antenna. What is this? This should be a wireless microphone. It was used but it's exactly what I have in a Scooby van. So obviously I'm going to test this today. Um, it was in the neighborhood two hundred seventy dollars, something like that. New, they are six hundred. Supposed to be in good condition. It's a very good condition. scratches and it is a electro voice in this case it's a telex but telex and electro voice are one and the same uh, it does look very good condition and it's called an re2 clear scan and that means it will scan the available frequencies when you push a button on the receiver and set itself to the clearest channel on the receiver. And then you simply match the microphone to that channel. Oh, look at that bonus. Okay, so there's also, this is also supposed to have a rack mount with it, which is why the little cables, perfect. I, those would have been longer. I wouldn't have even needed to order those other cables, but great. There's the other half of the rack mount because I intend to put this in a rack. And this was a $46 component for the rack mount system for the receiver. And there are the pair of antennas that would attach right to here or with this relocation kit to put it in a rack would relocate them to behind the rack or bring them back out to the front of the rack. Your choice. So let's pop this open. And this will be the, yes, very nice, very happy. The clear scan uh, RE2 version or the Telex version of the Electro Voice RE2. It's the exact unit that I have in the Scooby van. Now I have the uh, replacement. Well, step van. So, a fun day. It's like Christmas. Christmas to me today. Of all the parts. So, I need to check this real quick. Yo, know, just in case it's not as advertised. But it looks great. And uh, kind of put all the parts and pieces away. And uh, maybe finish cleaning out my van just a little bit this morning. So, we are making progress with the... Mobile studio, parts and pieces are still coming in. I have ordered, and it didn't arrive, a, a power conditioner. 
and there's probably a couple other things it's a rack mounted power conditioner um, that all these components will plug into and uh, try to keep the noise and stuff out of the amplifiers so all right it's been a fun freight day and uh, you'll see all this stuff get installed here one of these next few days or a few weeks or a few months whenever I get around to it you know I work on what I want to work on thank you guys for watching comment and subscribing we'll catch you on the next one